Hey guys, this is SoulRack333 and I just want to do an update on this uh, animated universe Optimus Prime. Here he is in his truck mode. And I still don't like the weapon storage for this axe. I wish they had kept the axe symmetrical though. Put this on both sides. Uh, I did, I don't know if you post it on there, on there, I don't know. But what I really wanted to show was this truck mode along with this jet mode. I think that makes a cool combination. This is the Super Megatron. And I'm not exactly sure where this is from. Uh, but I got this, you know, a few years ago from uh, Hasbro Pulse, I guess. And, uh, yeah, I think you can kind of use this as a stand-in for the animated Megatron um, I thought he was a cool character uh, the first season I again I don't remember if, how many episodes I did watch because I just bowed out um, Megatron was just a head I guess and uh, I guess they reverse engineered some stuff and who knows I don't know um, but I like the voice. I think that was Corey Burton, uh, the voice of G1 Soundwave, and I thought he did a pretty cool Megatron voice. Uh, but I don't know if they have plans on making an animated universe Megatron. But if they don't make one, like I said, I think this would be a good stand-in. He's a uh, like a jet instead of that uh, dual-bladed helicopter. And I think this looks cool. I think that looks pretty cool too. Here he is in his tank mode. And I think you can fiddle with this. to make it look any way you want it I guess uh, I guess if you want that H tank look you can peg this in on the side here or you could just not do that at all and do this Compact. Do that, make it more flush. I kind of do like that though. I'll just angle this downward. But yeah, I think these two make a nice pairing. I think that looks pretty cool. Uh, I'm not gonna bother transforming this. Well, eh, yeah, I'm not gonna bother. I'll do. You can change his chest, so if you want a more uniform look, you can do that. If you want a more techy look. That gave him his guns. Yeah, I really like how this looks. 
he's just randomly on my shelf. I have, you know, I have my uh, classics section, my movie section, my classics section slash universe legacy whatever I, I'm, I still call all that classics uh, it's split into two uh, and, and, and there's no real reason other than shelf space um, and then uh, my masterpiece and then my customs uh, he's just somewhere off to the side uh, but now I compare these two together. I think they look nice. And then we have him. I mean, I almost have my movie section, but I already have a shockwave in my movie section. But I think these two could look cool together. And then uh, I don't know. Maybe this version of Star Scream might work well with uh, that. But again, I still have. This lug nut. So I think that looks cool. This might work too. So just want to show some different ideas for displaying. Yeah, I wish. I wish he had his. Uh, face mask I hope that the DNA kit you know maybe those guys might add a you know a mouth plate you know, that's removable so you can put them on and off there you go Yeah, but I think that works. I think that's pretty cool. Seeing them together like that. And I see him with the rest of his team. No, I just put Ratchet away. I'll put him here. They need more backup. Get two cops on this team. I think this combination works too. <laughs> uh, I think if they're really going for that animated look, this needs a do-over. Um, I mean, I considered this as a classics version of Bulkhead. Like, what if he appeared in G1? Kind of. Uh, but they need, I think they need a do over on that one. But yeah, just want to show these two together in their alt mode and robot mode. So, yeah, thanks for watching.